collisions. So let's first do an example of an inelastic two-dimensional collision where two objects collide, they get stuck. So let's say something like this. Let's say two kilogram object going and uh, it's going at three meters per second and then two, uh, five kilogram object moving at two meters per second, 48 degrees. When these two objects collide, let's say they get stuck. Now you could also apply this kind of problem to cars. For example, it could be a 2,000 kilogram car going at 30 meter per second, 5,000 kilogram car going at 20 meters per second and it'll be a a car problem, right? Two cars collide, they get stuck, they move together. How are they going to move? Okay? So their momentum is going to be conserved. This one, let's assume that it is inelastic, totally inelastic. So find for me, number one, find, find the V final and its angle. In which direction are, is the system going to move? And also find the percent loss of, let's make this A, B. A and then B. Find the percent loss of kinetic energy. So in order to do this, now we're going to set the momentum conserved. We're going to make it conserved. And since momentum is a vector, we're going to make the momentum final in the x direction equal to momentum initial in the x direction. Momentum final in the y direction is equal to momentum initial in the y direction. So separate it out into x component of momentum and y component of momentum. Because momentum is a vector, you, it has both x component and y component. So x component final momentum. Now, when they collide, What's the picture going to look like? They're stuck, right? Together. So the picture is going to look like this. They're going to be stuck together, something like this. Two kilogram, four kilogram. And let's assume that they're going to move in this direction, right? And uh, with a final velocity and then a final angle, theta, right? So then we're going to show for what theta is. Um, so the final momentum in the x direction is going to be, you see, the total mass of the system is 6 kilograms. The final velocity is v final. And then the x component is going to be cosine theta. Right? So Pf x is going to be 6 um, Vf cosine theta. P initial x is the initial momentum in the x direction, which is uh, 2 times 3, that's a positive, right? That's uh, 6. And the momentum of the other object, the 5 kilogram object, is going to be 5 times 2 times cosine of its, well, cosine of its true angle, which is going to be here uh, 100 and... 32, right? 132. So its true angle is 132. So 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5. Remember, momentum is mass times velocity, mass times velocity, and then the x component is cosine of 132. So uh, this one gives us uh, two unknowns here, Vf and theta we don't know. Right? And then this one, the y component, the, initial, uh, the final y component is going to be 6 times Vf times sine of theta. That's the y component of the final momentum. Is equal to the initial y. Well, uh, the initial y, this one doesn't have an initial y. It's just moving in the x direction. This one is uh, 2 times 5 times sine of 132.
right? So now we need to solve these two equations and two unknowns. We could, uh, how should we do this here? We could actually take this, put it on that side, and divide it, right? We could get something like this. 6VF cosine theta is equal to, uh, this one is going to be 6 plus 10 cosine of 132. And then divide these two equations. The reason why I want to divide it is that the VF will cancel. And then the 6 and 6 will cancel. Then you will end up with tangent theta, right? Tangent theta is going to equal this. The VF will disappear. Tangent theta will equal 10 sine of 132 divided by 6 plus 10 cosine 132. So now calculate what that is. Then take its inverse tangent. And that gives you what theta is. So tell me what you get there. Negative 84. Oh, that means that one came out to be negative. Came out to be, okay, negative 84. Uh, negative 84. Oh, you know what that means? Is that means that the theta is actually in the second quadrant this way. It's in the second quadrant. So what the, uh, the angle that it's giving you, it's negative 84, you said? giving you negative 84 that means that uh, this one is actually moving this way and the, the calculator is giving you this angle negative 84 you see? So the system is moving this way at an angle greater than 90. So to get the true angle, I need to add 180 to this. And you get uh, 96. Yeah, that's the actual answer, 96. The reason why it's moving this way is because the x component of the momentum of this probably was greater than the, uh, than the x component of this. This one was 2 times 3, which was 6. And then this is 2 times 5, which is 10. So that's a bigger number. And then 10 times cosine 48 is bigger than 6, probably. If you check, you should be able to see that. 10 times, uh, so the, the, two, the 5 kilogram won because it is heavier. Okay, so now once you get the theta, then you can put it up here and solve for the V. We want to get the V also, right? So 6 times VF times sine of 96 is equal to 10 sine of 132. I'm putting the angle back 96 back into there. And now solve for VF. 